What's up? It's Miles from Selleramp, and in today's video, we're going to talk about five Selleramp features you probably aren't using, but should be several underrated features that can help you make more money in your Amazon business and spend less time to make that money. Let's jump inside my screen and get into it. As always, make sure to subscribe to the Selleramp channel and let us know if you have any questions down below in the comments. Let's get after it. So a lot of you guys are already familiar with the main features of Selleramp, but what you're not, basically what Selleramp is, is it actually answers three questions for you. So it answers, does it sell? by showing you the demand right here and the BSR and the estimated sales for a specific product. It answers, can you sell it, which you would go down and actually check the alerts panel. Right here, go ahead and log into your Seller Central account, which you're then gonna be able to see your eligibility in terms of ungating. There's a ton of information out there if you're watching this and haven't been able to ungate, it's gonna be very easy for you once you learn the right methods basically right there. And then it answers, is it profitable by taking a look at the profit calculator right here on the Chrome extension, as well as opening up, checking it out in the web app as well as going ahead and taking a look at that on the mobile app. So that's all included in the main description, which you can actually get a free trial of over on selleramp.com right there. But in this video, we're talking about some of the more um, underutilized, or at least that I don't hear people talking about as much features basically right there. So um, the first one is actually the Google Sheets feature. So if we scroll down over on the Chrome extension, right here, we can actually see the Google Sheets section right here. Now I have a couple different options right there. I have my SAS buy sheet, video example, check-in feature, seasonal buy sheet, and Halloween basis. So what I can do is I can go ahead here and click video example right here. And then this actually goes ahead and exports directly to this spreadsheet right here, where we can then go ahead and see on 5.2, I exported the Nike Men's Revolution 5. We got the ASIM, we got the Amazon link, we got cost price if I added it in, sale price, profit margin, etc. Now, this is incredibly helpful for a few different scenarios. One, if you like to share leads with friends, this is a great way to do it. Two, if you like to stay organized, this is a great way to do it. Three, if you have virtual assistants, they should be plugged into your seller amp account and being keeping track of this organization to make sure you keep track of this right here. So for example, um, friends with a lot of virtual assistants, basically they'll just have like different names for each virtual assistant on there as those virtual assistants source products throughout their workday, they'll go ahead and export them over to um, our user basically and then they're gonna be able to see all that data in there. So. I definitely like the idea for those of you guys who are really dialed in with this, basically of having like a buy sheet, um, a check-in future, a sold out sheet for products that you've that you've taken the time to find properly that you happen to be sold out, a close to good sheet, which could be the same thing as like check-in future, same thing with like a seasonal one, a Q4 one, uh, really tons of ideas. I'm actually gonna redo mine as um, as well, just to make sure you're staying organized because we're already spending all this time to find these products properly, whether it's reverse sourcing, anything like that, you might as well make sure you're able to capture the lifetime value of each specific product and get the value of that when it does happen to be in stock, right? Because across a year, across you know six months, you might be able to get 100 or 200 different products that you saw that were sold out that were profitable, or 100 different items that were, that were um, close to being good but weren't quite good, right? And if you have all this data organized on the spreadsheet, you're gonna be able to really quickly reference back to those when you get an email that L'Oreal has a sale going on, or when you get an email that Target has a sale or On has a sale going on basically, you're gonna be able to capture the lifetime value of those products and that's gonna be super powerful right there. So like I was saying, you wanna have as many different ones as possible to stay as organized as possible. I'm gonna redo um, mine as well, but specifically for some of our higher level users that have a lot of um, like one, products to buy, two, virtual assistants, team, etc. cetera, um, a big thing is, is the organization of those products and making sure you're capturing the lifetime value of those leads. So I think that's a great way to do it, is the Google Sheets feature. You can actually go ahead on selleramp.com and go into your Google Sheets feature. You can actually configure um, the different columns right here. If we go ahead here and click um, edit right there, um, we can go ahead and see that right there. Um, go ahead and take a look at all the different information in there. You can move stuff around, you can add new ones, um, et cetera, um, right there. So that's pretty cool. You're gonna wanna go ahead and get that set up right there. Okay, number two is a pretty quick hitter, but it's really underrated and it should be utilized a lot more, especially for some of the other features we're gonna take a look at basically right here. That is going ahead and actually scrolling over just some of the quick info right here, specifically the dimensions right here. Now the dimensions is gonna let you see the width, height, length, as well as the weight um, for 
specific product and it's going to help you quantify a few things. Now, shipping to Amazon isn't going to be super important in, uh, in this sense outside of the size of the item actually fitting it in because you should in your seller amp settings go ahead and have in shipping to Amazon already factored in basically right there. Uh, 30 cents a pound, 25 cents a pound, etc. Whatever, whatever it happens to end up um, being for you. I'm on the East Coast and um, my product sometimes tends to ship very bulk so I get a lot of super cheap rates. My average um, per pound is like 23 cents on um, the pound right there. But going over the mentions is important because it helps you see if stuff qualifies for small and light, um, which you can also see from the price on that. And that is actually the next feature I want to talk about is scrolling down on the Chrome extension down here, which where we can actually go ahead and toggle it on to FBM right here to see the FBM uh, fulfillment cost, which we would then check this. See, this weighs about three ounces right here. So this is going to ship for like $3.50 right there so see if we could pay three dollars for this we'd actually go ahead and make about a hundred percent roi right here on that so that's the fbm feature right there i've been seeing a lot of just students have really really good results with fbm as blade so i'd recommend taking a look into that the way you kind of quantify if you can fbm something is just scroll down and take a look if other people are Right, and then you can check the key boss, see if there's, if there's any FBM people that have sold out, um, etc. Right here, just in general, if the buy box has been um, equal to the FBM price, um, so on and so forth, basically. Additionally, with the FBM calculator, what you can also do is go ahead here and toggle on small and light. You guys can see we're below $12 right there, and if we're non small and light, we make about an 89% ROI here. But if we toggle on small and light, we then shoot up to 130% ROI. So it added about a dollar and 20 cents in profit, which in this case was about 50% um, to the bottom line on this specific product. So that's pretty powerful um, on uh, on that right there. Absolute. Next feature, okay, uh, another one that I don't see talked about a, uh, a lot at all is actually the discount feature right here. So. Um, the beauty of online arbitrage is the potential to get discounts and coupons and overall just get product a lot cheaper, basically, right? And the discounts is a really quick way to go ahead and factor in all that stuff as you go, basically, right here. So we can see uh, with a 10% discount in, it's about a 150% ROI. If we go ahead and get this item with a 20% discount, it shoots it up to 186% ROI. And you guys can customize the seller app too. Um, across all of this stuff basically right there, but the discounts tab is um, something that you don't see super often um, But is really really helpful for going ahead and calculating this stuff Especially as you guys do this more and more you're gonna start to have some of the discounts memorized basically with uh, with that And the last feature I don't see talked about as much one a little bonus one You can actually move your seller amp around on the screen a lot of people don't actually know that Right there is definitely going to be the web app right here. So what the web app allows you to do is it allows you to see a really big view of basically all the data for a specific product right here, all laid out right here, right? So we can go ahead and see the profit calculator. We can see the charts right here. We can see stock counts. We can see when I've looked this up, discounts, notes, Google Sheets, etc. all in one really organized place right here. So it lets you kind of take a look at this stuff. Um, right here, another thing a lot of people don't see is actually the quantity down here. If we were able to buy, you know, 50 of these right here, it'd be about 100% profit or $130 profit right there. So that's a pretty good feature, the web app right there. As as well, if you guys have any like comments or any recommendations or stuff you'd like to see from us on the channel, make sure to let us know. But we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching and supporting SellerAmp.